I've spent the last few years working for one of the largest shockwave clinics in North America, and I've learned a thing or two about the power and untapped potential of regenerative medicine. But the march towards a future where sickness is healed from its root cause is challenged by the influence of big pharma and their deep pockets. So now we're forced to answer questions like, how do we get rid of joint pain, take back our performance in the bedroom, and heal diseases from the inside out without band-aid medications or negative side effects? This show will give you the answers. Follow along as I interview the world's top experts and doctors and how they transformed their lives and their patients' lives using the newest advances in biotechnology. I'm your host, Austin James Wolf, and you're listening to Modern Biotech Radio. Welcome back, Modern Biotech Pioneers. So today we're talking about shockwave therapy for cellulite again uh, because there are a lot of clinical studies uh, detailing the effectiveness of shockwave therapy for cellulite. But today I wanted to go back in time to 2007. Uh, this was an earlier study and the problem with early studies is uh, they were experimenting a lot and protocols hadn't yet been perfected. So uh, results from earlier studies don't accurately reflect the results that we're getting now because over time, over the past decade, we've been able to refine these treatment protocols and get better and better results for our patients, uh, as well as patients in clinical studies as well. So uh, keep in mind that results in 2007 don't reflect results from the studies now, of course. The results from the studies now are much better than they got in 2007, but uh, I wanted to uh, go back in time and give you guys a brief snapshot of what they were talking about in 2007, and, and even in 2007 when the protocols hadn't been fully fleshed out yet, even then they were still getting great results. So I just wanted to jump in and show you guys that. So this is a 2007 study from uh, published in the Clinical Interventions in Aging, and uh, it's titled, Can Cellulite Be Treated with Low-Energy Extracorporeal Shockwave Therapy? Good question. So for my YouTubers out there, I have it right up in front of me. For my listeners on my podcast, uh, I'll be reading this off as well. But if you wanted to see the study itself, you can go to YouTube, watch this uh, this video. But again, you don't have to because I'll be reading it out, Okay. So in the abstract, uh, they talk about how they're treating 21 females with cellulite twice a week for six weeks with shockwave therapy. Uh, and then they go into, okay, what shockwave therapy is. I, I won't do that here. That's not the place for that. Uh, but long story short, it's shockwave therapy. It's just, it's sound waves going through the tissue, right? And then here uh, uh, for my YouTubers, you can see this. They show the difference between female skin and male skin and why females get cellulite and most men don't. So... Uh, it's it's basically in the uh, this the crisscrossing of what's called the septa, um, and uh, in females, we females have uh, fibrous bands that connect the uh, the skin to the muscle, uh, and it's it's sort of like a, in an arc like in in like columns right in like parallel columns. Whereas with with men, it's 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 crisscrossed right. So when you have these these columns, fat cells can sort of bulge up. And the fibrous tissues pulls on the skin, and then the skin sort of uh, creates dimples as it's pulled down onto the the fat cells, right? But with men's skin, uh, everything is crisscrossed, so um, there's nothing to pull down on the skin uh, for the fat cells to, I guess, bubble on the skin. Does that make sense, guys? Uh, for my YouTubers, you can see this you can see this uh, picture right here. It's kind of hard to describe this photo uh, to uh, you guys on my podcast, but you can go ahead and take a look at difference between uh, men and women for cellulite, right? Women have those uh, the fibrous bands. This is what causes the cellulite, right? So uh, then we go down in the study. They go into, okay, how did we exclude these patients? That's not really important. Then they go into, okay, we treated them with shockwave therapy. Uh, scrolling down. Uh, and here we are, the discussion and the conclusion. So just so you guys know, uh, a lot of the study just detailed, okay, how did we bring patients in? How did we treat them? What did they see? What they saw, the results that they're getting, that's the most important, at least to me, uh, as well as you, probably you. You're probably here to find out if this stuff is bullshit or not. <laughs> it's a good question. So let's go right down to the discussion and conclusion. I'm just going to read this off for you guys verbatim. The results of this study suggest that low-energy, defocused shockwave therapy is effective in treating cellulite through the remodeling of skin collagen. This effect can be corroborated by measuring the microstructure of the skin using high-frequency ultrasound, as well as by the subjective comments of the subject. So uh, they're basically saying, okay, we measured cellulite based on uh, ultrasound as well as what did the women think when they looked uh, at that treated area. The data also suggests that improvement from treatment may have a latent period of from two to six months. It may also be possible that successful cellulite treatment 
will result from low energy to focus shockwave using higher energy flow density. Uh, so basically what they're saying is uh, they used a certain amount of energy density and, and some shockwave therapy is more effective than others because it's more powerful than others. Low energy shockwaves may not be as effective as higher energy shockwaves. So all they're saying here is, okay, we saw results from shockwave therapy. It works, but uh, patients might see better results if we used a higher energy density. That's all they're saying. Um, and that's it. So uh, I want to read this last paragraph. Further investigation is needed to determine whether a scientific-based therapy concept for cellulite can be developed by optimizing device parameters. Depending upon the outcomes of these investigations, low energy to focus shockwave therapy may become one of the few evidence-based therapies for future clinical management of cellulite. Huh, how interesting. This study was published in 2007, and now, uh, in the current day, the American Association of Dermatology has stated that uh, acoustic wave therapy is one of the most effective treatments for cellulite. And the good news is, there is no negative side effects. That's great. So it's right up there with Selfina and Cellulase. I won't go into those. Uh, we don't actually believe in those those treatments. We don't we don't believe that cutting the fibrous bands uh, for a short term game of not being able to see see cellulite. We don't think that cutting fibrous bands they serve a purpose in the human body. We don't think that cutting those fibrous bands uh, can possibly be good for you in the long term. And we suspect that there will be negative side effects that occur in patients who underwent those treatments in the future. So. Even though it's not shown now in these past two years, we believe there will be side effects by cutting those fibrous bands. There has to be. Cutting something in the body that isn't meant to be cut, there's no way that can be good for you in the long term. But the uh, so far, the clinical data has proven us wrong. So uh, we'll see what happens in the next five, 10 years. Cool, guys. That's it. Uh, so this was published in 2007. It's, it's great that even back then, they were saying, yeah, shockwave therapy for cellulite works. Here's the data. Uh, we just need to refine the treatment process. So, of course, over the past 13 years, uh, we've refined the treatment process, not only in studies, but also in clinics as well. So, you know, we're treating our patients with cellulite, and they're getting great success. So, that's it, guys. If you have questions about shockwave therapy for cellulite or anything else or want to see me do a video on anything at all, please leave me a review on iTunes. And if you leave me a review, just pop in your question there. We'll answer it on the show. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Want to see what the top experts have to say behind the scenes? Just go to modernbiotechradio.com and you'll get instant access to every behind the scenes interview for free. Now, these interviews are not for the public, so please don't share. But if you'd like to pull back the curtain with me and learn what secrets they reveal, just go to modernbiotechradio.com and get instant access to these interviews for free. Again, that's Modern biotechradio.com if you'd like to learn the best kept secrets that they can't share publicly but allowed me to share in private just go to modernbiotechradio.com and get instant access to all of these interviews completely free i'll see you there and now for our lovely legal and medical disclaimer while I make every effort to broadcast correct information, I am still learning. I will double check all my facts, but realize that medicine is a constantly changing science and art. One doctor may have a different way of doing things from another. I'm simply presenting my views that are as evidence-based as possible. I welcome any comments, suggestions, or correction of errors. I take no money from drug companies. By listening to this podcast or reading this blog or watching this YouTube video, you agree to not use this podcast blog or video as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others, including, but not limited to, patients that you are treating. Consult your own physician for any medical issues that you may be having. This entire disclaimer also applies to any guests or contributors to the podcast blog or YouTube account. Under no circumstances shall Austin Wolf Launch Medical, Moonpool LLC, or the Novus Anti-Aging Center, or any guests or contributors, or any employees, associates, or affiliates of Launch Medical, Moonpool LLC, or the Novus Anti-Aging Center, be responsible for damages arising from use of the podcast, blog, or video. This blog or podcast or video should not be used in any legal capacity whatsoever, including but not limited to establishing standard of care in a legal sense or as a basis for expert witness testimony. No guarantee is given regarding the accuracy of any statements or opinions made on the podcast, blog, or video. This website, blog, podcast, and video are all HIPAA compliant. While you may give your email address to subscribe to the website posts or to post information on the website or blog, I will never share your email address or contact information with any third parties without your explicit permission. One more note. 
I have no idea what I'm talking about. And people that listen to me have a 100% mortality rate. This is true. Think about it. So please consult your physician for any medical advice uh, because this blog post, podcast, and YouTube video or any other video are meant for educational and entertainment purposes only.